I think the most important thing when it comes to drinks is the produce. You know, I really start to make the drink the moment I'm choosing the produce, when I touch it, when I smell it, you know, when we pick up things uh, in jungle or you know, harvest them in the field, when we forage things in the park here. Uh, it all starts with the produce and if you are able to understand the produce or the better you are able to understand the produce, the better result you can achieve. Every time when I approach a new drink, I think of the produce and I try to express the flavor. So I take a core flavor and then I think about the accents I can add to that to create something very harmonious and delicious. When you smell, when you try, you can already have a perception of what casa with what, do what you could apply to that. I mean, there's a lot of different things uh, I have picked for various reasons. Uh, for me, a huge revelation was a monkey cane uh, because it's a wonderful source of acidity I didn't know prior to the trip and it's very fragrant. So, you know, ideally I would like to have it uh, in my bar, but I can't because it's, uh, you know, it's not a farm agriculture ingredients. Uh, I really liked uh, working with uh, Kaja. Uh, of course, Musilago is probably my most favorite thing. When we've been visiting the cacao farm, I think I drank like five liters of the Musilago in the morning. That was amazing. Fragrant, delicious, acidic, hints of bitterness, very floral. So, yeah, great stuff. Well, there's many reasons why I do bartending, but first and foremost, bartending to me is a creative outlet. It's an opportunity to express myself uh, in the language I write and speak by the cocktails, by making drinks. I think that my cocktails are always an expression of what I'm learning, and that's probably the reason why they keep on changing and developing. For me, it's always about the notion of moving forward, learning new things and keep on changing, developing.